Welcome to the training videos showing how to update the Beverly Athletic Club website. I'm going to demonstrate how to update the site so by watching me you'll learn how easy it is to add information into it. I'm working on a copy of the website so if you see news feeds that are out of date or either have wrong information in them don't worry what you're seeing does not reflect your live website. So in this video we're going to learn how to resize some images and get them ready to be uploaded as a new gallery to the website. As we scroll down this page you can see that we come to the galleries area and the galleries area has a find out more button which once clicked on takes us to the galleries page. On this galleries page are a variety of galleries that you can click on and that will take you then to a page where you can see those images. So once we enter the page we can click on the gallery and keep on clicking and we can see the different images that are available. However these images all need resizing in order to show quickly on the internet. So this video is going to show us how to go about the resizing process to prepare these images for upload. So I'm going to minimize the website out of the way and on my desktop I have opened up a folder where there are images that need resizing and the software called Photosizer. Now you will have manuals on your help page to show you how to download and how to install Photosizer on your computer. So I'm going to assume that you've used that manual and that Photosizer is already installed and that you have it opened on your desktop. Photosizer may be looking slightly different to this current one as this is a older version but it works in exactly the same way. Just then for a quick recap, you should have had a manual that will show you how to download and install Photosizer and a manual that will tell you how to set up Photosizer to work properly. On that manual it will show you that you should be using pixels and that you should have 800 by 600 in pixel height. You should have checked do not enlarge file if smaller and maintain aspect ratio. Scrolling down the options you should have a destination folder and it should be saved to a folder and you should have chosen a folder on your computer that you want Photosizer to output to. As you can see here the address is on my desktop and a folder called uploads and there is on my desktop the folder called uploads that Photosizer is pointing to so any images resized will naturally appear in that folder. The output format I have chosen to be JPEG, JPEG and I've chosen for the file name a custom file name and that gives us a file name mask. Now this is very important. The file name mask enables us to change the name of any number of files that we are adding into the website and as you can see they have lots and lots of different names at the end of these files. So this file name mask will not only resize all of these images to be a good size, it will change the name and this percentage NNN means 001, 002, 003 so that will be 001, 002, 003 etc as they're all resized and it will put the same name at the start of each of the images. So if there was a specific run, let's say for example this was the Beverly 10K, it's not the Beverly 10K but let's say it was, we could put Beverly 10K and then we put the year in which the race was and then have the file mask at the end. So all of these will say Beverly 10K 2017 001 002 etc. So now that the output format and the file name mask is set in place, all you have to do, by the way, once you've got Photosizer set up correctly, is that when you get a new batch of photographs, just simply change the name of the race and leave the rest in place, unless obviously, of course, it's a different year. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on one of my images. I'm going to press the control key down on my keyboard and the letter A. That highlights all of them. Then I'm going to click on the image and drag and drop. And now you see all these images are ready to be resized. Then I'm going to click on the start. 
it goes through a resize and renaming process. And once it has finished, we have this option to open the destination folder or simply close this pop-up window. Well, the destination folder, as I've said, is just over here. So I'm going to close this and double click to open up the destination folder. And here you can see as I stretch out this window, Beverly 10K 2017 001, 0023, etc. And now these images are all resized and renamed and ready to be uploaded to the website. And as you can see, I've highlighted them all and it says 22 items and they are simply 1.28 megabytes in size for the total of them. That just shows you that it has compressed these down to an excellent size. Each image is very small. This single image is only 82.7 kilobytes in size and therefore you can see it will load very quickly on the website whether it's being viewed via a PC or via a mobile phone. So now that we have all of these images resized and renamed they are ready to be uploaded to the website. But that concludes this part one video showing you how to resize and rename your images according to the race that has been done or the event that you are photographing. I'll go on to the next galleries training video in order to find out how to upload these images to a gallery.